One of my biggest icks with men is when they like wake up and they're confused. Like what? 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 Like that's womanly. You know, like you should wake up knowing exactly where you're at. You know, one of my biggest sticks with women is that a lot of them are constantly confused. Like, one moment she's 18 and living her best life, and a few bad decisions later, she's a 40-year-old single mom with three baby daddies and no job. Who, who, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> In one moment she's like, I don't date brokies, I only date rich men, but then she votes for socialism and suddenly there aren't enough economically viable men. A shocking new claim about the falling marriage rate is raising a lot of questions right now. A new study says the reason fewer people are getting married is because there's a shortage of, quote, economically attractive men. The study from Cornell University says women aren't getting married because prospective husbands can't provide enough financial security. Who, who, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the thing is, guys, women aren't going to change anytime soon, so... Pay attention, not child support. I'm gonna be honest with you, you're not a 10. All right. Ooh. I'm not saying that to be mean, but you're not a 10. Okay. Hi, I'm Zoe. I have a PhD in digital feminist activism. What? Hi, I'm Zoe. I have a PhD in digital feminist activism. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> so let's talk about podcast bros. No. I feel like oversharing. Um, so I've had a rough few days um, in my personal life, to say the least. But whole other story. Um, but today I was feeling a bit better. Um, thought you know, treat yourself. Um, so I got the old uh, buzz buzz out. If you know what I mean. Um, and I got a little bit carried away. It was really good. I was having well over time. Um. And I've now, like, burnt my skin. Like, friction burnt. Like, but I'm still so, like, I want to do it, but, but I can't because I've, I've literally, like, burnt my <laughs> So, now it smells like dead fish and burnt rubber? <laughs> hey guys, any of you want to take a bite of that? Bro, seriously, if you look at the root of most problems in modern society, you're gonna find simps. So apparently there's a male loneliness epidemic right now. Aww, we do not care. They shouldn't be lonely. Where are their boys? Aren't they obsessed with their boys? Don't they ditch their wives and girlfriends for their boys? So apparently there's a male loneliness epidemic. Er, we don't care. The women don't care. Because we've decided as a majority that we're going to live like golden girls. That's what we're doing. You men should get together and talk about that. Solve it. I'll give you a hint. It's therapy. Because <laughs> you're the worst. So apparently there's a male loneliness epidemic right now. Oh, that's terrible. Um... Have they tried smiling? So apparently there's a male loneliness epidemic right now. Oh no, a male loneliness epidemic? I've got something for that. Check it out. You know, every few months or so, either a study pops up or someone goes viral on TikTok talking about how Men are lonely nowadays, and without fail, there's a tidal wave of women aggressively flicking their bitterness beans at it. Like, ha ha ha! Take that, you nasty male patriarchists. Pathetic. Now, ladies, I'm gonna tell you something that might ruin your fun, so listen up. If men are lonely, women are lonely. What? If men are lonely, women are lonely. Because sure, 
A lot of you might be taking turns carouseling the top 10% of men, but you're not ending up with any of them because there aren't enough of them to go around. So you spend your 20s, 30s, and 40s jumping from one eggplant to the other, hoping to find Mr. Perfect, until inevitably and bitterly, you end up posting cringe on TikTok. Ah, just like a woman. But you know what the really funny part is? A lot of men are lonely, but a lot of women are lonely, ran through, and overblown. Congratulations, you played yourself. Seriously, ladies, you are your own worst enemy. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so.